No. No, 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 This, this isn't what I wanted. I've got to fix this. I've, I've got to fix this. I, I'm so sorry. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> Mabel, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh my goodness! Dipper, what's wrong with your eye? My eye? Well, it looks kind of like... like Bill's eyes. My eye? What about your eye? Hey Dipper, there's something on your hand. Hmm? What's it say? Welcome to the Mindscape. Enjoy immortality. Bill. So, Bill saved us? I, I guess so. But why? Dipper, I'm scared. What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. It's kind of a lot to take in. We were only 12, Dipper. I know. There's so many things we'll never get to do. Go to high school. Get married, sneak into a movie, try every flavor of ice cream. Yeah. I guess Miranda was my first and last kiss. Dipper, I wish we'd never come here! I wish we had never even heard of Gravity Falls! Mabel, don't say that. What about all the friends we made? Susan Wendy, Grenda, Candy, Waddles, and Girl Stan. None of this would have happened if we hadn't been here. This is all our fault. Come on. Let's go explore. Maybe it won't be so bad. Okay, Dipper. Let's go. Are you seeing things too? I yeah. Hey, look over there! It's Robbie and Tambry. Yeesh! He's taking care of her! Oh my goodness, that is so adorable! This must be how Bill watched the town. When we died, Bill must have transferred his powers to us to keep us alive. That still doesn't tell us why he did it though. If we have Bill's powers now, maybe we can use them to contact someone and they can help us. Did you say we have Bill's powers now? Let me try. It's my dream come true! Wendy. What? What is this place? It's the Mindscape. I'm sorry, Wendy. I had to talk to someone. Dipper? But, but you died. I saw your bodies. And now you're... I know. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to explain. Bill did something to us, and now we're kind of stuck here. The triangle guy you told me about? What about Mabel? Is she here too? Yeah, she's here. She found out she could visit Waddle's dreams. And yeah, the triangle guy. We're trying to figure out why Bill did this and if there's a way to undo it. Right now, things are looking pretty hopeless. Is there anything I can do to help? There's gotta be something we can do. <sighs> I don't think so. I just came to say goodbye. Thanks for making our last summer a good one. Give her wait!
I shouldn't have let them come here. I knew it'd be dangerous. I knew someone could get hurt. And I did nothing! I was selfish, and now they're dead. It's all my fault. I never thought I'd have to do this. I never wanted this. Pines residence. <laughs> Stan? <laughs> And then I said goodbye. He looked at me with his adorable, sad eyes, but I told him, your adorableness can't change my mind. Then I woke him up and came to find you. I'm sorry, Mabel. It's all right. It was hard to accept at first, but I'm okay with it now. But you know, using Bill's powers is kinda tiring. <sighs> That's so weird. I didn't think we could still get tired. We can't keep this up for much longer! Guys, we found something that might work! Hurry and read it before we all die out here! I'll close the portal, you guys get out of here! Run, dudes! Well, I just had a nightmare. Yeah, me too. Wait, did you see... Oh, Death? Yeah, I did. Everyone tried to protect us. And we died anyways. This is so stupid! I wish we could just go back and, and change everything so this never even happened. Wait! Mabel, that's it! I know how we can fix this! We need to find Blendon. Well, this is the place. Oh my goodness! Is that him?! Uh, yeah. Why? With muscles like that, he should change his name to stand out! Seriously, Mabel? What? It's true! <sighs> Please stay focused. Hey, Blendon, we need to talk to you. Ah! Oh, oh, it's just you guys. Uh, what are you two doing here? We need to call in a favor. At the end of our summer in Gravity Falls, something happened. Yeah? There was an accident and we sort of died. No! No way! Not for one million time wishes! M messing with a huge event like that could disrupt an entire timeline! Uh, t time is a very fragile thing and I'd rather I enjoy my current life, thank you very much! But Blendon! But nothing! I I've had to work really hard to get where I'm at. I I'd I'm not going to just give it all up so you two can have a second chance. Not to mention that interfering with death is illegal. That's too bad, Blendon. I mean, the only reason we came to you was because we figured you were tough enough to do this. But I suppose if you're not up for it, it really is a noble deed. Mabel was on her way to becoming president and establishing world peace. Unless you've changed your mind. <sighs> Alright, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll help you. This is the last time, though. I'm not going to break the time rules for you ever again. Fair enough. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Pleasure doing business with you, Blinden. Dipper, for a second there, you sounded just... just like Bill. What are you talking about? <sighs> we need to hurry, before it's too late. Whoa, what am I wearing? I can't go to the party looking like this. There we go. Red sweater? Blue sweater? Yellow sweater!
Guys, we found something that might work. Hurry and do it before this thing kills all of us. Blendon? What are you doing here? There's no time to explain. If, if, if you want to stop this thing, we need to work quickly. I have a plan, but the odds of success are approximately 0.0000068% and dropping. You two should join us as well. Yes, sir, Mr. Random Future Space Guy. Who is this guy? Dipper, who is this guy? We can't afford to waste any time. Make him leave. He's a time traveler. If he's here, something bad must have happened. Stay here and help Grunkle Stan keep that thing away while we figure this out. But- Ford! Come give me a hand! Dipper? You know, I've been thinking, maybe we shouldn't fix this. What? We're immortal beings now, Mabel. We could take over the world if we wanted to. But why stop there? There's an endless amount of timelines and realities. Just imagine, Dipper and Mabel, rulers of the universe! Give up! You can't beat me, Mabel! We have the same amount of power. We could literally keep doing this for eternity. But where's the fun in that? It's not like they can fix this anyways. Look at them. They're dealing with things that pathetic human minds could never understand. It will take them decades to find a way. Imagine how excited they'll be when they find out where they are. I can't let you do that, Dipper. Those are our friends down there. But if it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you'll get! <laughs> You're right, Dipper. We could definitely take over the whole universe. It would be so easy to. Like taking candy from a pig. So you'll help me? Help you? Ha! Don't make me laugh. Why would I share the universe with you when I could take it all for myself? You need me. No, you need me. You may be more logical, but I am the embodiment of pure chaos. You would just hold me back, if anything. Or maybe I'll just take that power for myself. Now, all I have to do is wait for our friends to fail, and then... All set, dude. Dipper, now! What? I'll be waiting for this homie. And I'd miss the big world so slow. And I'll have fun to eat my life. And I'll have seen all the men all who gosh. And I'll have seen all the men all who gosh. And I'll have seen all the men all who gosh. And I'll have seen all the men all who gosh. And I'll have seen all the men all who gosh. What the? <gasps> it worked! I can't believe this, it actually worked! Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm Bill Cipher. I knew it would work. It was a bit risky to split my existence in order to fix the timeline. I almost lost control at the end there. But they somehow survived through their pure sibling love. They have no idea they'll help me this whole time. Now that the rift has been closed, I can rule over this pathetic universe unimpeded. Now to greet my new mindless subjects. Bow before your new lord and mass. Uh, what? The Mindscape? No! They're waking up! Oh my gosh, they're okay! Hey guys, they're okay! Kids! You nearly gave this old man a heart attack! You can't die on my watch! What would I tell your parents? To this day, the Pines twins aren't really sure what happened that day. Memories of waking up in the Mindscape Making deals with Blendon, fighting each other, it all seemed like a dream, but the memories were real. There you have it. That's the story of the Immortal Pines. I've waited months and 
found it led me back to you To find you lost in pieces Broken into two But if you let me in Like a summer warmth I'll surrender The fight of love But lost not the love I have Across the sea A friend I'll be Until the end of time Is all I need But if you choose To take my hand I'll hold it for as long as I can 